What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. It feels incredibly weird and foreign to be sitting down and filming for you guys. I decided to take a break from my social platforms like a week before shit hit the fan with the George Floyd murder and Breonna Taylor. So it's been a while since I sat down and filmed and it honestly doesn't feel right just kind of rolling into content, but this is what I have platforms for is to use my voice. So if you follow me on Instagram, I haven't really been posting, but I have been using my stories to obviously bring awareness and have difficult conversations with my followers. I am very happy with the community that I've built with my platforms as vocal as I have been with everything going on with like Black Lives Matter. I haven't lost any followers. If anything, I've gained followers, which just makes me happy with the community that I've built. It makes me so freaking proud of all of you guys, honestly. I did decide to donate 100% of my profit the first week of June from Heartbreakers to the Black Lives Matter movement. So I just encourage you to use your platform any way you possibly can, whether you have two followers or two million followers, whether that be YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, Facebook, just speak up and challenge people that maybe are having a hard time seeing why Black Lives Matter. And don't just unfriend people, have these conversations and really try and educate yourself and others during this time. I don't believe we're ever going to go back to normal. I'm okay with the new normal. I'm okay with people not standing on top of me in line at Stop and Shop. I'm okay with talking about politics, sex and religion at dinner parties. Like I don't think those conversations should be taboo. I think those are conversations that really help people grow and learn and I don't know just become educated because I know I've learned a lot during everything going on these last couple weeks so that is what I have to say about everything going on right now obviously today's video is going to be a Zara try on haul if you've been following me on Instagram this rack has been full like full to the brim for two to three weeks it got to the point where I just had to film content because I had more orders coming in obviously had to return pieces I didn't like. So today's video will be a try on haul. I will talk you through all the pieces that I picked up. I think I have over two dozen pieces to show you today. Like I went crazy at Zara during quarantine. So since I've already taken up two minutes of your time and shown you no clothes, let's get into this Zara try on haul. So the first piece is this bathing suit from Zara. I threw on a linen cover up. This is going to be from a nasty gal haul that I'll show you guys later on, but this is how I envisioned it styled. So just a big button down over it. But when you see the bathing suit, I did order a size small and it's pretty tight. Like I'm hanging out over here. I'm just, it's tight. It's super, super tight, but I absolutely love this swimsuit. Here's a closer look. It has a lot of metallic threading in it. Zara swim is weird if you are in between sizes. Um, medium's probably gonna be too big. So it's pretty tight, but it is a very, very cute bathing suit. I absolutely love it. So obviously you saw from behind, it's super tight, not very comfortable, pulling everywhere. So this will be a return. I'm gonna try it in a medium if they have it because I do love this swimsuit. I'm gonna show you this skirt with a couple different tops. So first I wanna focus on this bodysuit. Zara came out with a bodysuit. I will insert a couple photos for you guys. I think last year I own it in every single, I believe every single color. I don't think you can go out without seeing someone in it. And this style reminds me of that bodysuit, except it is a lightweight rib material. So my only problem with most of Zara's bodysuits are they are a full coverage bottom. They don't tend to have a thong bottom. And because this bodysuit is tight, you can obviously see that I have lines. So have to wear it with something like big mom jeans. But I do love that it covers up my side boob obviously have a bigger chest and I don't need to worry about anything. I love the neckline. I just think it's super flattering on the arms, shoulders, neck. It looks absolutely amazing. I also love where it gives me a better silhouette. So most of the time when I wear a bodysuit, for some reason, it just kind of like cuts down. So I do like how it's tighter over here and gives me that, well, half of an hourglass figure. So I threw on this lace crop top. It is a medium. I believe I picked it up in like a cream white color and a small. So I'll obviously show you what the small and the medium look like. Um, this skirt is also a small by the way. So I definitely like this skirt better with a crop top because then you're not seeing any funky lines from behind. 
I also love how high this skirt comes up because you already know I've been talking about it for two and a half years. I hate when belly buttons show. I hate it. I think if you're wearing something high-waisted, cover up the belly button. I just, I don't know. I don't understand it. So this crop top is so freaking cute. It is lined on your chest, so you are not exposed, seeing any nipples. I love it. I just think it's a great layering piece as well. So huge fan of this top. Again, I picked this up in a medium. So the last top I'm gonna show you with the skirt, I actually thought I was buying a set. I was wrong, but this top is so cute. I didn't even think I was gonna like this pair together but I definitely like that it is a little bit different in the cream off-white department, and I like the different textures. So you have the linen, and then you have this knit ribbed material, which is so freaking luxurious and soft. It's definitely not too heavy. I wouldn't wear this like today, 85 degrees outside, but for a summer night, I would definitely throw it on to go to dinner. I love that it has this square neckline and it carries around into the back as well. So I have a new skirt on, but this bodysuit will probably look familiar. It is the same cream one I just tried on, except in a darker color. So I don't know what is up with Zara, but this happens to me all the time. I'll love something and I'll go back and purchase it in a bunch of different colors in the same size and it's never the same. Like obviously you can tell by how loose this is on me over here. The other one was super tight. It's just, it's so loose. It's baggier. This to me is a medium, not a small. So I do love the color, but unfortunately they don't fit me. It doesn't fit me. So that will be a return. If that lace mauve crop top wasn't your thing, you will love this bodysuit. So it is this beautiful like rust brown color and I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why they do this, but if you're gonna have something sexy like this bodysuit, why would you make it a full coverage bottom? I don't understand. A woman that is wearing something like this does not wear full coverage panties. I don't get it. Again, that's my only issue with this bodysuit. I love the dainty straps. I love how low it goes in the back as well. So huge fan of this bodysuit. The last top I'm gonna show you with this skirt is this bodysuit. This material is the same material as the very popular Zara bodysuit that I discussed in the beginning of this video. It is super slinky. It's double lined around your chest. I love the square neckline. I love the dainty straps. It is again a full coverage bottom, but the best thing about the material of these bodysuits are you are able to wedge it up your butt and make it work as a thong. So I love the color. I actually have it in white as well. I couldn't wait for the try on haul. I wore it to dinner the other night with my friends. So very, very cute and comfortable. But now moving on to the skirt. I absolutely love what this skirt does for my figure. It's very flattering, I love it, but it is so extremely thick. This is a skirt that you would wear in the winter. It is, I wish I could show you how thick this material is. Like you'll never understand, it's wool, it's super warm. It hits like right below my calves. This is a knit skirt that you would wear in the winter or fall with like a really pretty pair of boots. It's just, it's not for summer. They released this at the wrong time. Okay guys, I hope you have a very tall glass of wine, some snacks because this is going to be like the longer portion of the haul. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 tops that I'm gonna show you with this pair of jeans from Zara. So if you are looking for some really cute summer tops, some basic tops, this part of the haul is for you. All of these tops were super affordable and obviously you will be able to tell what size you need to get based off of my body proportion. So just looking at this top, I picked it up in a size small, clearly does not fit me because I have a larger chest. This top is going to be great if you have a smaller chest. I think even if I ordered it in a size medium, it still wouldn't work. I love this ruching detail. This is so on trend for spring and summer 2020. So it did come in this really cute polka dot pattern and in a black, but unfortunately this is going to be a miss for my body type. This next top was one of my favorite pieces. I just feel like it's so different and I'm never going to own anything like this again. So padded shoulder tops are coming back and even though this is not padded, it gives you the same boxy effect. 
So I love that it is a crop top, but it hits at a perfect length where you can see a little bit of skin, hide the belly button. And then it has really big, well, not really. It looks like the sleeves are completely vented and open, but they're not. So you're not seeing any boobies. It puffs around in the back as well. And then it has this tiny little tie detail, which I absolutely love. This is what you're gonna get from Zara. These little details that just elevate the piece. Next up is a true basic. So if t-shirts are your thing, maybe you wanna switch it up and try a tank top. Again, it has that boxy square look to it. Even though I have a bigger chest, it's not pulling on the side and it is hiding my bra, which I love and appreciate because that's so hard to find in tops. So I would totally wear this tied up, tucked in with some wedges or some sandals, just a really easy, quick outfit to go run some errands. Speaking of t-shirts, this is a great way to take a basic and elevate it a little bit. So as I said, the ruching detail is going to be so popular this spring and summer. You can tighten this and make it shorter. You can loosen it, make it a little bit longer. So I absolutely love this. I picked this up in a size small and I like that it's tight around my chest, but still loose and breathable everywhere else. Moving away from white basic tops for a second is this beautiful periwinkle top. So I have it tucked in. This is very, honestly, it's like the same thing as that bodysuit that I discussed in the beginning of the video so if you are not a bodysuit person then this top is for you if you like that look again I love the neckline how it shows off your shoulders and your arms just very very pretty I love periwinkle and light blue in the spring and summer that's just like those are my colors so if you are looking for a basic but want some fun colors this is a great option that still keeps it really muted so it's not like Boom, so much color being thrown at you. By the way, I did pick this top up in white, but I wore it on Sunday, it was around a fire, and honestly, one of my biggest pet peeves is smelling like fire afterwards, so I'm not gonna try it on, it's in the wash, but it does fit the exact same as this pretty like light lavender color. So if you have been here for a while and you saw my last Zara haul, then you saw this top. I had picked it up in every color that it came in in a size small, but had to return all of them except for green because of how they fit. So I grabbed this one in a medium and it fits perfectly. This is definitely my new top of the summer. I just think that it looks so good with the type of jeans that I wear. If you're just looking for something easy to throw on and run out the door when it's super hot out, this is your top. For the sake of not trying on a billion pieces for you guys in this video, I did want to say that I did pick up that last top in this white in a medium. The small will definitely not fit you if you have a larger chest, so go with the medium. This is the same exact top that I just showed you in that beautiful periwinkle color. And if you remember the nude bodysuit that I tried on, I said I wore in white the other night. This is it. This fits exactly the same as the nude bodysuit the square neckline, the dainty straps. Definitely recommend if you're looking for some basics, especially bodysuits, they're my favorite. So this top is incredibly adorable. I absolutely love how it puffs out like this. Obviously it doesn't do anything for like my frame, but because my boobies are out, I think I can like get away with it being like sexy and cute. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this top. I think it is so cute, I absolutely love it. It's just so girly and flirty. Hmm. This might be my favorite piece so far. Okay, everyone, this is the same thing as the mauve crop top that I showed you a couple minutes ago, but I did say that that one was a medium and this one was a small, so I wanted to show you how they fit. Honestly, they fit pretty much the same. Definitely a little bit tighter, but it wasn't something that I heard pulling as I was trying to get it on. Still super stretchy, just a little bit more secure. The only thing I don't love is clearly the cup size is smaller over here for what it's covering. Like I need like another inch under here for it to fit properly. I completely forgot to talk about the jeans. So I just threw on the crop top in white so you guys could see it on for reference. Again, size medium. These are definitely my new summer jeans. I absolutely love how high they are. I love the wash of them. Obviously you saw these paired with colors. Hey Callie. <laughs> 
with some neutrals and they just look so beautiful. I also love that the Zara tag back here is in white. They make my little bum look a little bit bigger, like perky. Zara did recommend I purchase them in a size two, so I did and I could not even button them. These are the same jeans that you saw in my last Zara haul. So this is a size four and they obviously fit me correctly. So before I talk to you guys about the dress that I'm wearing, I just wanna point out this other one that I picked up. Clearly it's see-through, like you can literally see through the entire thing. I'm not going to be trying this on for you guys, but I did wanna show you it because I thought it was just so freaking sexy. It's not appropriate to try on for you guys, so. But now for this dress, I love this dress. I hate the price of this dress. So this dress is obviously extremely form-fitting. It's a very flattering piece. I love this ribbed material, but what's even better about this ribbed material is how light it is and just airy and breathable, especially for summer. It does hit at my ankles, which I love because then it'll really feature the shoes that I decide to pair it with. I don't know what was up with me because I'm not someone that ever spends $70 on a dress unless it's like an event dress. And this was $70. And that's just not how I shop. Like everything is usually 40 and below and I make it look good. So I don't know. I don't know if I can bite the bullet and keep it for $70. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I could get three pieces for the price of this one dress that, I don't know. I'm clearly very conflicted with this piece. But I, I told you guys I had a ton of pieces for you. Thank you so much for watching this entire try on haul from Zara. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I hope you stay safe and healthy and I can't wait to see you in my next video.